As a parent, you are the most important person in your child's life. So if you are feeling well, your child will feel well. I want to dedicate a full video on parent well-being, especially for families where a child lives with migraine. I myself have lived with migraine for my whole life. I know the perspective of a migraine patient, what it means, but I've also seen the impact on my family and on my parents. You as a parent are the main supporter of a child when they live with migraine. You are there to help them cope with the disease and go through the treatment. But don't forget that you also have your emotional reactions on a diagnosis or a treatment plan. You also are allowed to feel anger and stress and feeling overwhelmed. And as most of you will probably have experienced, you might feel powerless at some points because you cannot take away the pain. We should not underestimate the impact of migraine, even if you are not the migraine patient, on your emotional well-being as a parent. Research shows that parents who have a better coping ability also have children with a better coping ability. So the more you care for yourself, the more you can also care for your child. Let's look at three approaches to support your well-being. First one, healthy routines. The second, your support network. And the third, to actually speak about your own challenges. The first strategy to support your well-being is to create healthy habits. And yes, I know parents are the busiest people on earth. So it's really hard to find time for yourself if you have kids in the house. But remember, it doesn't always have to be 60 minutes of meditation or 60 minutes to go for a run. It can be only two minutes at the start. Two minutes where you just sit down, sip a coffee or tea. Two minutes where you maybe just do some deep breath. It sounds like a little bit, but it has a huge impact. Step two is to accept help from your support network. It might not always be easy because we kind of want to be in control and we want to contribute as well. But imagine that someone offers to take your child to school or to bring a dish to a picnic you organized. Those might be 10, 15, 30 minutes that are freed up, but those can be 10, 15, 30 minutes just for you. Just the next time, try not to jump on the next task that's on your list, because I know it is endless. But just take those freed up minutes for yourself. And number three is to share your own challenges, to talk about them with your network, with your partner, with your family, with your closest friends. Because you are allowed to feel anxious and angry and overwhelmed. You are allowed to vent, to complain and to even cry if you want to. Imagine that you are there for your child 24 seven. You too deserve someone to be there for you. And even if it's sometimes just an hour talking with a friend, because your challenges are equally important. As we learned, if you're feeling well, your child will feel well. Instead of asking you to watch the next video now, I ask you to take the next five minutes just for yourself. Pause the video, lean back, Close your eyes and think of a happy memory. Five minutes just for you. Enjoy them.